Hello all and welcome dear valued participants. Today we are going to provide you a summary about cybersecurity management on organizational level. This is of particular importance to understand what organizational measures must be considered in terms of the ISO SAE 21434. What are you going to learn in this video today? First, you will be able to explain what cybersecurity on organizational level is so important. Further, after watching, you will be able to list the main topics which need to be addressed by the Organization for Cybersecurity. But why is this video important to me? Well, in order to ensure compliance to the ISO SAE 21434. Activities at organizational level are a prerequisite to ensure that cybersecurity is applied on all other levels. This includes, for example, the project and engineering level. Furthermore, it is crucial to understand that cybersecurity impacts the overall organization, roles, and processes, and thus it affects you. Organizational cybersecurity management affects each and every one in the company. It is often the starting point for all cybersecurity activities. This is also underlined by the ISO SAE 21434, and thus those activities are also the starting point of the standard. This way, organizations are held accountable to establish the principles along cybersecurity. Furthermore, organizations need to ensure that certain activities are planned and existing for the work done on project level and thus for the engineering activities. The work of the organization includes, for example, to have sufficient guidelines, rules, and processes. That templates are available for project use. That responsibilities are assigned with sufficient experience and that the competence is being managed. That training is provided to ensure sufficient know-how, and even more things which need to be covered. Those topics are required to ensure that the project has the capability to fulfill its duties along the product life cycle. Besides the newly required processes and activities, Cybersecurity must be linked and considered also within existing process landscape. Therefore, cybersecurity cannot be considered as add-on. Principles must be taken into account when thinking about. Systems engineering. This includes the requirements management or the systems architecture. Functional safety. This includes, besides overlapping work products such as the item definition, also the functional safety aspects for the threat analysis and risk assessment. And of course, project management, since all activities in a development project must be aligned. All other processes along the quality management system must also be considered which includes the configuration management process, change management, and so on. Along the establishment of cybersecurity at the organizational level, five major work products must be created in order to ensure compliance to the ISO SAE 21434. This includes the previously mentioned cybersecurity policy rules, and processes. The evidence of competence management, awareness management, and continuous improvements. The evidence of organization's management system. And the evidence of tool management. All created work products are checked by an audit. 
The audit report marks the fifth work product in scope of the ISO SAE 21434, Development at the Organizational Level, Cybersecurity Management. We will touch the topics related to the policy, rules, and processes, as well as part of the awareness management and the evidence of organizations management system in more detail in this video. The first requirement of the ISO SAE 21434 requires the organization to establish a cybersecurity policy. But what is a policy? It can be defined as a set of ideas or a plan of what to do in particular situations that has been agreed to officially by a group of people, a business organization, a government, or a political party. Simply said, it is a group of people which have an aligned understanding on how to handle situations and things. Thus, the requirement of the ISO SAE 21434 requires the management to have an acknowledgement of road vehicle cybersecurity risks and that there is a commitment to manage the corresponding risks. In this regard, the ISO SAE 21434 recommends linking the cybersecurity policy to organizations' objectives or other policies, and furthermore, that there is a statement regarding the risk treatment of generic scenarios. The policy is then enforced by rules and processes, enabled by responsibilities, and is ensured by appropriate resources. The overall benefit is vast for companies. They get more efficient, waste less money, and people know what to do. But let's have a look into these three parts in more detail. The standard says that you need cybersecurity processes, but what is required to create processes and how do you do it? There is often a four-step approach in order to establish processes. First, define. Here, you identify the purpose and what you want to achieve. Second, establish. In other words, the rollout of the process. Third, assess. This includes the evaluation of the process together with peers. Ask yourself, does it meet your expectations and results? Fourth, improve. It is crucial to have a continuous improvement process to keep your process up to date. But it is not enough to establish processes only according to the ISO SAE 21434. Processes must also be compliant to other standards such as ASPICE. There are different interfaces to other parts of the company which need to be determined. Thus, the cybersecurity process must be linked to the overall organization interfaces, as mentioned before, and its processes such as requirements management, project management, test processes, for example, verification and validation, and supporting processes, for example, documentation of the activities, established configuration management. But what happens when you are not linking the processes together? There is a risk of misalignment due to insufficient processes, a risk of isolated processes, risk of missing compliance to contracts and standards, etc. Risk of only partial satisfied cybersecurity requirements and regulations. Risks of introducing weakness vulnerabilities. To sum it up, you have to ensure that the processes fit in the common way of working and are linked to the other automotive processes. 
Let's jump to responsibilities and resources. Responsibilities enable the policy, whereas resources ensure the policy. For both topics, there are again dedicated requirements which sound at the beginning easy but are also quite complex. Starting with the CS responsibilities. The ISO SAE 21434 states, The organization shall assign and communicate the responsibilities and corresponding organizational authority to achieve and maintain cybersecurity. Why do you think cybersecurity roles are needed? For example, to define strategies or to make decisions. But also, to be an independent reporting instance to ensure that cybersecurity is sufficiently taken into account. What does the standard say about cybersecurity resources? The organization shall provide the resources to address cybersecurity. But what are resources needed for? They are needed to set up the cybersecurity organization. This includes establishing a cybersecurity core team, but also have subject matter experts available. Furthermore, technical cybersecurity teams which handle testing or incident response. They are needed to build up competence and know-how. Competence and know-how are key to ensure awareness. Therefore, trainings and coaching should be established. Moreover, information sourcing about trends is key. Therefore, it is beneficial to be part of conferences or joint working groups such as the one from ISO SAE 21434, the Working Group 11. And they are needed to establish a cybersecurity infrastructure. This includes that new processes and tools required to cope with cybersecurity. This is also linked to the VNV activities and over the air updates. But none of this helps if there is no cybersecurity culture. In case you have background in the ISO 26262, you might come along with the safety culture, and the ISO SAE 21434 has a similar approach. Unfortunately, the ISO SAE 21434 is not so precise in defining a cybersecurity culture. Therefore, we split this in three different areas in order to understand what a cybersecurity culture is all about. First, cognitions and knowledge. This includes the awareness of employee or the proven knowledge. Second, behavior. This includes the question how they behave on a daily basis and how to behave in terms of cybersecurity. And third, attitudes. Is everyone following the same thing? Do they want to do the same thing? All in all, we can say it is about the no act and feel. The overall aim is to make cybersecurity an integral part of employees' work and habits. But there's an additional crucial aspect. ISO SAE 21434 requires having a quality management system in place, which needs to be in accordance with international standards such as ASPICE or IATF 16949. The ISO SAE 21434 goes not in detail in this regard. Not like ISO 26262. The reason for this is quite simple. There are other standards which need to be fulfilled anyway. In case there are no processes established in the company, you cannot fulfill the requirements 
of the ISO SAE21434 and thus cannot develop a secure product. Thus, the QMS is kind of a precondition for all activities of the ISO SAE21434 and to enable cybersecurity in the development. All right, let's sum it up. What did you learn in this video? First, organizational activities are the starting point for the projects. It is crucial to say that major deviations would occur among the different projects with respect to cybersecurity due to the missing organizational guidance including missing processes, templates, practices, etc. Second, there are five major work products which need to be created. The cybersecurity policy, rules, and processes. The evidence of competence management, awareness management, and continuous improvements. The evidence of the organization's management system. The evidence of tool management. And the audit report. Please keep in mind that if the requirements of the ISO SAE 21434 are not met at the organizational level, compliance with UN R155 on automotive cybersecurity cannot be insured. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.